we need to talk. Hey, good morning, everybody. Things aren't always smooth and easy in life. And it's easy to put on a facade. Real life is never quite as easy and smooth as what we might wish for. And regardless of how well we might have everything together in life, uh, there's always problems. All of us have issues, all of us have problems. Maybe family, it may be friends, it may be job related, maybe personal health, other personal issues, or whatever the thing is. There comes a time when in your life you have to stop and really do some hard thinking. You're probably wondering at this point, what does this have to do with typewriters? Well, I'd like to propose to you the idea that the typewriter being an impersonal mechanical device, a personal writing tool, can be very effective as a kind of unbiased listener. You know, it's very helpful a lot of times when we're in situations where we don't know what we're going to do to get out of it. There doesn't look like there's any good options available. What's really helpful is to sit down at your typewriter, put a fresh clean sheet of paper in it and just alone with you and the machine start writing down your thoughts about the situation whatever the situation is start writing down your options start writing down everything you feel and think about the situation all the aspects of it try to be very complete try to cover all the corners and angles things you might not have thought of And when you do that, you'll find, more often than not, something you didn't really think of before, or a new perspective on a certain viewpoint that you might have had. And this might help you. This might help you to alter your change or change your thinking about the situation. I like to think of counselors and psychologists and priests and pastors as they're all helpful to us because of their specific professional knowledge and experience with dealing with people but a huge part of the role they play is nothing more than an ear to listen sometimes that's about 85 or 90 percent of it you just need an ear to listen and i'd like to propose to you the idea that your typewriter can be that ear even though the typewriter doesn't hear it's not a person but it's always there for you and you can sit down and you can write those words, you can type those thoughts on paper with the idea that just the act of writing them down somehow makes them uh, physical. It brings them into the physical reality out of the mental space. It sort of codifies them. It can be an uncomfortable thing to share the, the depths of your heart and of your feelings and emotions to an impersonal object like a notebook and a pen or a typewriter and a sheet of paper. For a lot of us who never had a diary when we were young, that might seem like an odd thing to be doing. But I think there's a real power in language in codifying our inner thoughts into written language. I think there's it's the power of organization of being able to take these this confusing jumble that has us churning around and around has our stomach churning and to be able to take all the elements of that jumble and lay them out dissect them upon the operating table of logic and reason lay them out in plain language on paper and see what it really looks like see what it's really made of and oftentimes when we do that, we, we really do find clarity, at least a little, uh, a little light, a little more reality. And it helps to remove the shadow of doubt and of uh, uncertainty from the situation. And it helps us to make the right decisions going forward. Often when we're in a situation where we don't know what to do, our mind is constantly churning with all the different alternatives simultaneously 
just churning around and around and we can't really see clarity in the situation. And this is where it really helps to put those thoughts down on paper, organize them, make a list, make it logical, just a logical list of all the options and all the, the ramifications and all the aspects of your situation. Just write them all down and then write down below each one what you think the worst case scenario would be if that particular option came to pass and then write down what do you think would be the probability that that happens and then write down what do you think you can do to mitigate each one of these situations each one of these possibilities oftentimes clarity will come to you you'll see that the possibilities that were magnified in your mind as being very real might end up being a lot less likely the situation may not be quite as dire as you thought it was or alternatively it might continue to be just as dire as you thought it was but maybe you have more clarity of mind more clarity to see your way out of it you can more clearly see your choice of options to choose from and that, therefore it guides you in the way forward what you need to do the action you need to take today that's the power of language the power of words is being able to take your thoughts in your mind and put them down into concrete words on paper and i think that's really the benefit of the typewriter it helps us to do that non-biased non-judgmental way it lays it out for us on paper for us to see and reread and understand in a new way well, I don't know how your situation is. Could be a loved one, could be your personal situation yourself, but whatever it is, I hope you find clarity and peace of mind and a solution to whatever your problem is because we all have problems. We just don't want to admit it. Well, this is Joe Van Cleef with a little bit of Sunday morning reflection. Sit down at your typewriter, take some time, and put those thoughts down on paper. Get real. Just get real for a few minutes with yourself. And that's often the most important aspect of this process. Uh, it's really uh, not about the machine being your counselor or your confessor as much as, as it is about us getting real with ourselves. And we can do that through the intermediary device of the typewriter, the non-judgmental typewriter. You guys have yourselves a great day.